Hello there, this is Pat Struby, and uh, we are recording a tutorial for how to get the most out of eMoney, which is one of our two online portals. Uh, as I always like to say, um, eMoney is kind of designed to be the big picture. Uh, if you're ever wondering where is all my money or how much is all my money worth, this is a great place to get that as a snapshot. Um, Orion is the other online portal that we highly recommend. Um, both of these are free of charge to you. Um, if you are looking to dig into details and get um, transaction reports, uh, we think Orion tends to be much more um, client friendly. Um, it'll have all the history of distributions, um, dividends, um, transfers into, into and out of your account. So, uh, but that is the other portal. So this is eMoney. And what I want to do is kind of walk you through what you would see. So this first page um, typically will come up the first time you log in. Um, this is really uh, kind of designed if you want to go through a questionnaire and answer questions about your goals and things like that. Those are all things that we've already done if you have this portal with us. Um, so you're welcome to do that. Uh, but most of our clients just skip that and go to the home page. So we're gonna go there and uh, we've set up a uh, sample uh, client portfolio. Um, obviously uh, these uh, won't match uh, anyone's numbers, but it's just an example that we wanna share uh, for you. So what I'd like to do is jump in right away to investments, because uh, that's what most people use this for. And then we'll jump, we'll go over some of the other additional extras that are available as well. So the first thing is there's a couple places you can get into your investments. Uh, you have these, they call these tiles that you have on the first page. Um, you can get there uh, by going in here and clicking go to investments. Um, that'll take you to that page. Uh, the other thing, I'll just start back over again uh, to the home page. Um, you can just use this menu right along the top. Um, so probably the easiest thing to do when you log in if you just wanna see your investments. Just click that investments. Um, wording there and what you have here is this is your home page for your investments uh, that are held uh, being shown through eMoney so what we will do once we have your account set up is we will have these entered in here and um, these are done manually by the way so our team has to allow the accounts to be established and then we have to link the accounts and then we have to name them for you so as you can see um, these clients have uh, 1.6 million dollars of investments uh, there's one account that is in the roof, uh, which is the wife's uh, uh, retirement account. I, we have three accounts in the walls. Uh, we have to keep those separate because some of them are, one is the husband's IRA, one is the uh, wife's IRA, and then we have two foundation accounts. So um, this is how we actually manually enter them in. Uh, I always want to make that uh, make sure you know that because we might give you access and everything may not be in there already. Uh, also, if you have been a client of ours for a while and you open a new account, um, that has to be added manually as well. So if you if you see something missing, please let our client service team know, and we'll we'll um, get working on that right away. The other thing I will mention is you may log in and you may see your accounts are worth $1.6 million and then you log in tomorrow and it says it's worth $1.4 million. 99.999% um, of the time you did not actually lose that money. Um, that is because one of these accounts might have dropped off. You see a $200,000 account here. So maybe that online access um, got temporarily disabled. Um, and so that is usually resolved within a day or two. What eMoney is doing is kind of scraping the other uh, websites to gather these values. And if that link gets broken for a day, that's gonna show a change. So I, I always wanna make sure you know that so you don't worry if you see a significant change. Um, so let's look at some of the things you've got, kind of your, your overall portfolio here. You can see the total value. Um, and if we come across the top here, allocation I think is a really helpful one. Um, so this would be, uh, if you're looking at saying, hey, am I do I have too much money in one area or something like that? Uh, maybe you're getting statements on some of your real estate investments and you're worried that you've got too much there. Um, you can see the different categories here, investment, real estate. Uh, we're showing 250000 for the entire uh, family nest egg, and that's about 15% of the portfolio. So we, we think that in many cases that would be uh, appropriate um, for that to be set up that way. 
uh, but this is giving you the uh, in the percentage of the entire portfolio, and then you can break that down if you'd like. One note I'll make is this: these categories are not always perfect. Um, so you'll see here we have unclassified for forty nine thousand. There's probably just something in particular about that portfolio that eMoney doesn't recognize, and we didn't have a way of categorizing it. Uh, but it should give you a pretty good um, I, uh, breakdown um, uh, as you are looking at these different categories. Um, and if we go to the next tab, um, oh, and one other thing I did want to mention here, let's let's go ahead and look at uh, real estate as an example. So each one of these you can click on and get more details. So now you can see within real estate, we've got three different investments. We have Hamilton Point, Shop Off, and Griffin. Um, you can see the different amounts there. And so of their real estate portfolio um, shows how much is in each one. And then it also shows which account it's in. So each of these different ways, uh, you can kind of navigate back and forth. Um, and uh, you can also see that for, you know, we could pick one of these accounts. And uh, so we can see, you know, the two, the real estate investments that are there. Um, now just remember, you're always toggling between these. So if we go back to all asset types, we're still only looking at that one account. And we would have to go back to all investments. Um, if you ever feel like that's a little bit weird and confusing, it's just trying to give you as many options as possible. Uh, I know when I'm looking through here for myself or for my clients, um, I can uh, get a little confused and just it always, if anything doesn't look quite right, just go back up to the, the icons up here and make sure you've, you've um, requested the information you're looking for. The other two tabs over here, analysis, this is really not going to provide much data for you initially, uh, but then as you have an account for a year or multiple years, this will give you kind of a tracking of uh, how your values are changing over time. Um, so that uh, probably when you are new, probably won't have much data in there at all, and hopefully over time we'll see that um, becoming more useful. The last section is transactions. We don't have anything in this sample account. Uh, again, uh, eMoney is uh, providing some transaction information, but I always encourage you, if you're interested in details, um, Orion is typically going to be uh, more thorough and more understandable. Um, so some of our clients like the details and they do all their work in Orion. Some people like the big picture and they do everything in eMoney. And then we do have clients that will actually log into both. So that is personal preference. Um, we have... Um, uh, created both of these specifically to try and allow you to choose uh, what makes the most sense for you. Okay, so we've looked at kind of the overall picture. Why don't we come back to the summary? And then uh, one of the thing I wanted to show you is um, how we can we can choose any one of these individual accounts as well. So if we go to back to this non-qualified account, um, you can see um, the value of the account. Um, you can see the four different investments that are in there. We have um, uh, Waveland, Shop Off, Hill, Point, and Resource. If we look at the allocation of this account, we can see we have uh, in, uh, real estate in, uh, investment, private debt, and energy. So uh, we've got a number of kind of categories there. Um, again, uh, you can see analysis or transactions, and that would again just be for this account. Um, the uh, let's see if we go back to summary and all investments. One other point I would like to make sure to show you is if you click on one of the annuities, um, you're going to see uh, each annuity company reports this differently. So uh, we don't have a lot of control over that, um, but we just want to make sure you, you can see its foundation because the um, the principal is protected from stock market risk. Um, and then there's usually some type of underlying index. This one happens to be the Morgan Stanley index that's available. And then um, this one is a, a BNP a dividend index. Um, so those, we don't have a lot of control over that. Just wanted to let you see that. And um, that is, I think, everything I wanted to uh, give you an idea on the accounts. Um, certainly let us know if you have questions on that. And then uh, we have some other items that um, not all of our clients are using. Um, it's really just personal preference, uh, what you'd like to use. Um, but it's taking you back to the home page. Um, so if you look under accounts, you've got a number of categories here. Um, cash, uh, one of the things you can do is you can link a bank account or all of your bank accounts if you want. Um, that is uh, That can be done for one of two reasons. One is 
literally giving you an ability to see where all your money is all the time. The other one is if you have bank accounts and you want your uh, retirement planner to be aware of those account values or information about that, um, you have the option when you link these accounts whether you want to share that information or not. Uh, the next area is your credit cards. So you can link your credit cards here as well. Uh, we have some clients that would like to do that. This is where the spending would come in. Um, the default assumption is, is that you do not want to give your retirement planner permission to see that. Um, generally speaking, uh, we're not looking to see what you're spending all your credit card charges on anyway. Um, I don't know that any of us wants anyone else um, kind of watching that for us. But um, that, what's really neat about that is you can look at all your data here and see it all in one place. Um, but you can choose what you're sharing with us. Um, taxable uh, would be uh, any non-retirement account. Um, you can uh, add other accounts. Let's say you've got an account at Vanguard or something like that. You can add them in here. Um, tax advantage would be anything that's re retirement related. Um, so if you for some, maybe you've got a little old 401k or something that, that we're not managing for you and you want to link that up, um, that can be done in here as well. And then the other areas that a lot of people will use is property. You can put any real estate in here. Um, and so you can see we've got their home uh, listed here and then loans. So if you have a mortgage on your house, it's a great place to put that. You can link that with your uh, lender and track that value as well. Ultimately, what you're doing by entering all this is it allows you to truly see what your net worth is. And then in this uh, site, you can actually track that over time. So I think there's some um, pretty cool features there and uh, value there for you. Um, and it's completely up to you if you want to do that. We have some people that, that are leveraging e-money for a lot of different uses. Um, we also have people that just use it and they just click right into the investments tab and just to kind of see where their investments are. So uh, let us know if you have questions on any of those other items as well. And then what I thought I'd do is quickly go through some of these other options up here. Uh, organizer, I don't think we have a lot of people using. Um, this is, you know, future goals. Those are all things you're already talking about with your retirement planner here at Preservation Specialists. So I don't, we don't expect you to be including that. Uh, you may want to do professional contacts. This is an area just to keep everything all in one place. Um, you can add people, your uh, attorney or CPA or maybe, a, you know, property and casualty insurance agent, something like that if you want. To sh and then you can decide if you want to share that information with us or not. Um, that's, of course, completely up to you. Um, spending, again, this is going to link to your credit card. Most, the default, and most people do not share that with us. Um, I believe you have the ability to overwrite that if you want, if you want us to ask us questions about that. Um, I'm going to skip the vault for a second. Another area is reports. So this is really taking the information from the investment piece and um, allowing you to just create a report with it. So this is an asset allocation report um, that would give you details on um, kind of what we'd already seen on the screen. Um, so I think if you wanted to print something off, um, this is probably a little more conducive to that. Um, and then you also have, let's see, I think balance sheet would be a little more of a, a net worth statement, essentially. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting about e-money is there's something called a vault. and um, we have not leveraged this much yet, but there's two uh, primary reasons that this could be used. The vault is um, free and it is uh, protected, uh, has security on it by e-money, um, so it should be completely safe. Uh, so it's a, it's a place where you can upload information. You could upload your uh, legal documents, uh, will, uh, power of attorney, um, anything like that. You could upload your tax returns here. Um, and then you can decide, you've got the option of having multiple folders and you can have a private folder where only you can see it and then you can have a shared folder where we are sharing back and forth. Uh, one of the things you could ask of us is um, if we have uh, statements or summaries at our meetings and reviews, you could ask to have that uploaded to your vault after each meeting. Um, if you uh, are asking for some type of summary from us, uh, maybe you're applying for a loan and you need a summary, um, to get approval, um, rather than going back and forth and worrying about the security of email, we can upload those here and notify you. And then the other thing is that goes the other direction too. If you let's say you've got a four, you're still working, you have a 401k, and you want to give us an update of that account or have us review it before your um, review meeting, uh, you can upload them here. So uh, I think we may be uh, leveraging the vault a lot more in the future, and um, just wanted to make sure you were aware that that was there. Uh, if you have interest in using it, please uh, feel free to make do so. 
there is no charge for that. And um, as of right now, there's no limit on the space as well. So there you have it. That is our review of eMoney. Uh, we're hoping that this is helpful. Uh, we get a lot of questions about this stuff. Um, I always say every client wants to know how much did I start with, how much money have I taken out, and what's it worth now. And we get it. We understand that. We're trying to find ways to do that. Uh, hopefully this is a step in the right direction. Uh, please let our service team know if um, you're having any issues logging into eMoney or if you think there's anything missing or anything that doesn't appear right. Um, and um, certainly if you're having issues navigating eMoney, let our service team know as well. And uh, we're happy to um, do what we can to help.